Hey everyone, today I have some spiral double block DIYs. For this DIY you need one of the 72 block packs of tower blocks and I'm using some weld bond today that my friend sent me and she said it was really good for the tower blocks. So I already made 19 of these and it's just two blocks stuck side by side. And then, once they are dry, I just start the spiral and I just make sure that I wipe off any excess glue with a wet paper towel. So you just want to cross them over diagonally like this so that opposite corners are touching. And then just keep repeating this. And I'm going to show you me doing it all so that you can see how it comes together. Even though I've done spirals before, I did do candlesticks before with just one block. So I thought I would make them like this and make them chunkier and sturdier. So the weld the bond is pretty good. It can stick more things than just wood. And I will leave a link down below if you want to try it. So I do this in halves and I glue together 10 and then off camera I will glue the other 10 together. So just make sure they don't move around too much and they stay where you put them. So I'm showing you 10 here but I ended up making another two because when the spiral goes round I like the top and the bottom ones to start and finish in the same place. So I'm just going to do the rest of them off camera. Now that my two pieces are dry I just glue them together. Oh, this is where I made the extra two sets of blocks and I'm just putting them on the top. And now I'm just going to make a base and I just glue four blocks together. And then I glue them to one side of the bottom. And then I just do the same to the other side. And then I decided it wasn't big enough so I glued another two blocks to each side. And if you have some wood circles you could use them for this. But I like how it looks with the square on the top. Well this one's a rectangle. <laughs> well it won't be when I'm finished. I'll do the other one off camera. Once your two pieces are dry, you can just glue them together. Obviously I don't wait until mine's are dry. And just make sure that you line up the, the base and the top. Just eyeball it. And I stained it with some early American Minwax wood stain. So I'm going to use two blacks, blacks, two packs of blocks and weld bond again. And I'm going to make another one. I'm going to show you the two together at the end of showing you this one. <laughs> so this time I doubled up each of the blocks and then I cross it diagonally. Uh, the first block like this. I'm just going to speed this part right up. So it's just I'm just doing the same thing again. But if I don't show it, then someone will say something. <laughs> so I ended up having to make an extra one 
at the end of this one too. So you just never know, sometimes you don't need to, sometimes you do. And because this one was more stable, I could just stack them right up. Even though they're moving. <laughs> and then just fix them out. And then here I am, I'm just making another one. Or is this the other one? Oh, I don't know. But anyway, you need, might need to make extra ones to make the top and the bottom ones in line with each other. So now I'm just making a base and I add four blocks to each side. And then I do the same thing for the top. And again, if you wanted, you could make this a round top, a round top and bottom. And you'll see in the next clip, it's much quicker and easier if you just make four blocks, well two sets of four blocks and then stick them to the bottom and then the same for the top and I just did six blocks, well it'll be six blocks all together for the base and the top um, because these are two blocks wide and the other one had to do Seven block? No, five? I can't even remember. No, yeah, seven. <laughs> because it was just a single tower block, so I had to even out on both sides. But it's up to you how many blocks you want to put for the base on the top. So here I already glued together these pieces and then I glued them on. So just do them like that, it's much easier. <laughs> And then I stained this one with the early American wood stain as well. And this is how they both turned out side by side so you guys can see them. And I like them both. <laughs> I think they look so pretty and they would look so nice in other colours. So it's up to you what colours you want to make them. You need two of the 72 block tower block packs for this one and I'm using a weld bond again. Now I am making a spiral, like a spiral staircase. So I'll just show you me doing it with 10 blocks and I'm just doing the same thing, crossing over the pieces diagonally so the opposite corners are touching. And I'm showing you 10 blocks here. I've speeded up the video, but you really do, you all can't see it because I speeded it up. <laughs> but you do have to hold the blocks together until they set. These DIYs take a bit more time and effort, but then you get like cool spirals if you do it. So I did the other ones off camera and until I see the next clip I can't remember how many I did. Okay, I did four. So then I just glue these four pieces together. Well, I glue two together and then the other two together. And in the next clip I'm going to glue those two pieces together. So if you, you break it down into parts, it's a lot easier. And then here I glue the other two pieces together
And now I'm just gluing those two pieces together. I feel like I said those two pieces together all the time. Okay, so I made two of them because it was supposed to look like a double spiral staircase and intertwine, but didn't work. So what I did was I glued those two together to make one big long piece. And then I made some three squares. So they are two blocks across by... Well, two blocks high by six blocks across. So you just need 12 blocks for each square. And I can't take all the credit for this one because my boyfriend helped me decide to turn it into a centerpiece instead and I stained it with the early American wood stain and this is what it looks like and then you just have to turn it around so you can get three places where the squares will sit flat and then you can glue them on and the top pieces, well I mean the end pieces need to be facing down the way and then you'll get the three flat parts. So it was kind of wobbly, I decided to stain two blocks so that I could glue a block to either end, like facing right down or straight down to stop it wobbling but then I ended up off camera I added another block to each end so I'll show you in the, the last the next clip what it looks like with the two blocks on it and this is how it turned out and it turned out so pretty I just put some candles on it you could put some plants on it but or you could wrap lights around it or something I'll put some greenery on it but just be careful because obviously if you drop it it's gonna break <laughs> so just don't touch it once it's made <laughs> and then you can see where I, I on the video where I put the extra block this DIY you need one pack of the tower blocks and I'm using the weld bond again. So I made four more spirals, just like the last video. Two go in one direction and two go in the other direction. So you can see when I stand them up that they're going in opposite, dire opposite, <laughs> opposite directions. And then I make the top of this, I have six blocks across and, no, six blocks high and four blocks across. But you could make it bigger if you wanted to, or you could use like an oval top or a round top. So I don't know what happened to the start of this clip, <laughs> so I'm sorry. Um, I just put two going in the opposite directions, I glued them to each other and then I just started gluing some blocks in the middle and I did four blocks in the middle and then I glued the other two pieces on the other side of those blocks. Actually I'd made these 11 blocks high because I thought they were going to touch at the top, but they didn't. <laughs> but just make them 10 blocks, it doesn't really matter. And then I stained it with the early American wood stain. And then I'm just gluing the top on. And this is what it looks like. I think it turned out so cute. 
You could always put some greener. Oh my god, <laughs> greenery or something in the bottom if you wanted to. You need two of the tower block packs for this DIY. Uh, I'm using the wild bond again. And I made 40 of these uh, tower blocks and I just glued one upright to one that was lying down. And I made 40, but then you should just make 50 of them because I end up making some more later. <laughs> So then I just start gluing the blocks together in a spiral and I just do 10 and then obviously I just do them in sets of 10 so that I can glue them together just like the other DIY. Do it in, in pieces and then put them together to make the bigger piece. And you can use a couple of blocks just to support it at the start. I just don't glue those ones on yet. So you just want to cross them over just diagonally the same as you did with the other DIYs, so it looks like that. And then just keep doing that until you've done 10 other blocks. And I'll only show you me doing one, <laughs> just so you can see. Now basically all the DIYs are just doing the same thing, <laughs> just to make the spirals. I'll do the rest off camera. So here we have the four pieces. And then I'm just going to glue two pieces together and then the other two pieces together. And you can use some masking tape, painter's tape, to hold them together till the glue sets if you want to. I had to do that for some of them. So here's my two pieces that I glued together and then I decided to make another one with 10, 10 blocks high and I'm going to use that one and make the stand. So 
So I'm going to put two blocks on one side of that base block and then three blocks on the other side so there'll be six on the bottom and then I glued together six to put at the back. Now I'm just going to glue all the pieces together. I put some masking tape on just to hold it in place until it sets. And then I'm just checking which side I want to be the front. So I want this side to be the back, so I'm going to cut down, well, I'm going to measure and then cut down a skewer. I'm just taking off the very bottom because it's not flat. I had to, the, the box round the wrong way. <laughs> so now I'm just going to measure it and then I'm going to cut that piece off. And I'll link this saw and miter box down below if you're interested. I know people always ask me about it but I always link it down below. And it was just a wee bit too long so I had to cut it down again. And then I'm just going to add some glue and it's going to look like that. <laughs> and this is just going to give it some more support but you want to put it back so you can't see that part. And then I'm just going to do the same thing again with the top part. Oh, and I had to use skewers for this part because tower blocks wouldn't fit. You think they would, but but they don't. Well, they would if you cut them down, but it's easier to cut the skewer. And also, it's less note. Oh my God, what's wrong with today? Less noticeable at the back if it's just like a skinny skewer. So now the base that I made is obviously not big enough so I'm going to make another base to put that one on top of and it is three blocks high and nine blocks across and if you wanted to use a round piece you could and also you could stain the sections before you built it if you wanted to Once that's dry, I just glued the other piece on top and then I stained it with the early American wood stain and then I filled it with some Spanish moth and succulents and I think it turned out beautiful. It turned out how I had it in my head, which is good. <laughs> but you don't have to make it as high as that if you don't want to, but obviously I like to make things that are over the top. For this project you also need two of the tower block packs and then I stained it with the early American wood stain and this time I used the super glue wood glue because I ran out of the other glue. I got a 60 pack of these 4 inch wood circles from Amazon and I'll link them down below if you're interested and I have to glue 17 of them together to make a base for this DIY that I'm doing <laughs> but if you could find the thicker wood circles I don't know if they're 4 inches, the ones from Dollar Tree then you could use them I think so I made another one of the last DIY <laughs> At the same length and I already stained it because I'm going to add some string lights on the inside with some hot glue and I got these ones from Amazon but I would say 
maybe get some LED lights, like strip light, and glue that inside of it. Or maybe something you could plug in instead. <laughs> but this is what I had, and I wanted to get this video out. I don't want to go buy LED lights. But definitely, with a, if you get them with a smaller battery pack, and with a longer piece from the battery pack to where the lights are, would work much better. So I'm just hot gluing it in the inside and I finished the rest off camera. So I also made another square 3 by 9 and I stained another four, 5 tower blocks and I already measured and cut down 2 skewers and I stained them as well. So I'm just going to glue the wood round to the base and then I put some Mod Podge on top just to hold it down and you should let that dry completely but obviously I didn't <laughs> so after that I start gluing on the big piece and you want to glue it on upside down from the last DIY but you could you could just put lights in the last DIY if you wanted to but I wanted the lights to be hidden as much as they could and I don't know if I showed you me putting the, the tower blocks on the bottom on the inside <laughs> because the video won't play while I'm doing the voiceover so I have no idea what's happening right now <laughs> but anyway I glue them on too next I glue the skewers in place just make sure they're at the back of whatever side you want the front of your DIY to be. And this is how it turned out and I love it. <laughs> I definitely would get the LED strips though because you can see the, the hot glue on the lights. No one's going to be looking that closely at it anyway. Oh, my boyfriend had a good idea. If you wanted to, you could put the skewers all the way around. And that would look nice too. And this next DIY is one tower block pack. And I'm using the weld bond. And I made two of these staircases. And they are going in opposite directions and they have 10 blocks. They're 10 blocks high. And just make sure that they are sit flat on the table either like either end i mean both ends not either end so that you can fit them together like this and then just hold it until it's set and then i thought it's only going to need two blocks for some reason so i glued them to the bottom but i wish that i had put them back a little bit so that from the front it would look like this is floating so keep that in mind if you want to make this one but i ended up adding on a couple more blocks oh four more blocks yeah you also wouldn't see the little bit sticking out but it still looks nice but it would definitely look cool if it was floating and this is just me me oh my god <laughs> me adding the other box on and you can't see right now but I'm going to show you right after this clip so yeah I wanted to make more spiral stuff without if you wanted to make something but not so big <laughs> you could make something wee like this oh <laughs> yeah you need to wait until things are the glue is set and things are dry, which I never do. But that's only because I'm filming and I want to get on to the next DIY. Okay, so now it's set, this is what it looked like, and if all the blocks were flush at the back, then it would look like it was floating. And I stained it with the American, early American wood stain, and I just filled it with some succulent and spanish moss and i think it turned out really cute again you don't have to paint it this color you could 
do any color that you like. You could stick the beads on any of these DIYs. You could do all sorts of stuff with them. It's up to you what you want to do if you want to make one. For this DIY, you need three packs of towel blocks. And I'm using the Dollar Tree Super Glue Whip Glue this time. So I ran out of the other stuff. So I made four of those staircases, two going in one direction and two going in the opposite direction. And then I made this is five blocks high and then the two big ones are 16 blocks and the two end ones are six blocks each and you want to glue them on five blocks at the top and five blocks at the bottom. And then there's a wee space at the top so make of the middle um, blocks so just make that at the top of your DIY and no one will ever notice. <laughs> and then you just want to glue them on. So I'm showing you this way because originally I was going to make it like this so you could make it like this. <laughs> and you could have this well, you could turn it on its side as well and it would still look nice. It's up to you. But anyway, you could have it like this without the extra bricks at the side, if you like this shape. Just wipe away any of the excess glue. Or you could have it like that. Or, you could put an extra five blocks on each side. And then it will look like this. If you want it like this, just glue it four rows of 16 blocks. And I'll glue the rest of them on off camera. And I stained it with the early American wood stain. You could stain it before you glued it together. And now I'm just going to make a hanger for the back with some hot glue, some twine and a craft stick. I'm just getting rid of the excess hot glue that was coming out. And then I'm just going to do the same to the other side, except I need another glue stick. And then this is how it turned out, I just filled it with some succulents and Spanish moss and I think it turned out beautiful. But let me know which one of these DIYs in this video is your favourite and will you attempt to make the spirals? <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video, bye!